Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be having a race at Monza, which is a track I'm quite familiar with, so I'm looking forward to this one, if we can get around turn one without any issue. Unfortunately, this video didn't record live, so um, uh, what we're going to be watching today is replay footage, which can be very wonky sometimes, like it won't show you your clutch input, the laps, just say infinite, even though it's out of seven, and unfortunately you can't see position. So, I'm going to do my best to um, recall the position, as it were, from a, like, I remember what position I finished in, started in. So, we're going to see what happens. I started at about 14th, and a few people got sent back to the pits for doing some mods to their car during the lights, so I really started at about 12th. Uh, very awkward entry into the first chicane. That guy decided to squeeze in beside me. Fair enough, it's a race, and I left the door open. However, it really compromised my move out of the exit but we're still alive thankfully especially after that incident someone spanned out across the track and then got rammed and became a spinning death mill it actually spanked the back of my car and set off the damage indicator in the game another thing you can't see uh in the replay footage coming into the second chicane totally abusing the curb there but i um was in a lobby with some people who set one minute 47 laps uh, on monza in these cars and uh they were driving very filthy lines indeed so if you can't beat them join them um, getting a heck of a run on the white Ferrari around the outside, getting enough of a run out of this corner to hold him off for one more corner. But we're entering the big straight here, and I have a feeling he's a superior driver. He gets a very good run out of the exit. He is definitely reeling me in big time. And then I just tip two wheels on that green, white, and red curb, and it breaks all traction. I have to get totally out of it, which is probably for the better. Avoids any chance of an incident coming into this uh, big sweeping S here. And again, just totally abusing those limits. You're going to see it get worse and worse over the course of the uh, race. But um, the best guys were dipping two wheels on the dirt, for Pete's sake. In the F1 series, you dip two wheels like too far out of the white lines. And it doesn't matter that your other two wheels are on the track. You're still getting a ridiculous penalty. So a little bit of a learning curve there. Did not expect those kinds of lack of standards, I guess. Different standards. Drastic standards. I don't know what you want to call it. Was not ready for that. Elmo up in front. Um, we're going to try reeling him back in. We're hope hoping to get a better first chicane. You can see there's quite a big crowd stacking up behind. So we're kind of in the no man's land right now, but any small mistake can bring us either forward or back. So we're really hoping it's forward. Coming into the first chicane. See that sausage curb is being abused, the first one. Coming out of it, almost all right. Get it on the gas a little too soon. And if we look at my rear view mirror real quick, we see a red car, yellow car, black car, red car, red car. And out of nowhere, this white car just smashes through the uh, the straight part of the track, which we aren't using today, but he uses it just fine. And no penalty or anything. And just flies by at almost 300 kilometers an hour. Hitting my braking point just fine, but following this guy in on speed, and I didn't realize it till it was too late, and just totally lose control. A very dangerous section. People are very committed through there. So we lose a few positions, unfortunately, and go down to around 15th place. And I just felt so shook at the time, I decided to give up uh, another couple positions, basically. These guys are already having a battle. And I feel like I need to regain my composure before I can go out and defend. Coming around this second turn here before the uh, big straight. And we get a pretty good run. Again, I've used the track limits quite a bit, uh, quite a bit, by F1 standards just using too much of that curve extending too far down it even if you're on the track with two wheels you get a you get a penalty disqualifies your lap time all that fun stuff but uh you know what in this one it doesn't do it you can see i'm gonna get all the way up onto the dirt on this apex and it's okay i totally left the track nobody cares for anybody i mean it's it's fair game so i felt pretty uh, robbed by seeing the fastest people do that at first but you know what it's just a game. Can't beat them, join them, all that fun stuff. Don't hate the player. You know how it is. <laughs> Catching up to Doom Hammer in that corner, but his name's not really Doom Hammer because this is a replay video, so that is actually someone else in the lobby's name. Coming up to a random car with a, a random person's name above it. And uh, will we get a move coming into the second chicane? We hit our breaking point just fine. A good amount of braking, and we actually get pulled away from. Um, he takes the line a little bit better than me. There's a better line to be had. Another position from someone out on the dirt. But, uh, 
And you can see he just stuck to the left a little bit more and it gave him a straighter exit out of the uh, right hook of the chicane. So it's definitely something I'm going to try in the future. Definitely room for improvement on the road to perfection. A random praying Ferrari pounces on me, thinking I'm a passing gazelle, but uh, fails miserably. Um, unfortunately for him, he just was having a hard time regaining control. These cars, when they're outside of their limit, they're almost like impossible to control. You're sort of like right on the edge of completely losing control. That's why I brake so much coming into this section. Another position gained to a car passed on the side of the road. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you can see I break up a lot coming into the first uh, left hand or the sweeping S. And that is simply because I don't want to upset the car over those curbs. They might be small curbs, but um, upsetting this car just makes it almost like a lost cause. You can't recover it. Beautiful exit around this corner. We can see someone had a bit of a spin or contact, and we're going to go around the right side. And there's a bit of a bluff charge. He, he veers to the right and then backs out of it for some reason. I don't know if he was trying to scare me into crashing or if he just freaked out when he saw there was a fast approaching car. Bit of a bluff charge. Felt like a bear was bluff charging me there, so. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Uh, lots of traffic building up behind. I believe we are now sitting in about. What is it? Maybe 13th? 13th position, give or take? Clawing our way back up the leaderboard. Um, something I'm pretty good at is being consistent. Like when I calm down and I find my zone. Battling is one thing, you know, being fast is another. I'm pretty good at just hitting the same lap time over and over again, which can be a really good skill in uh, racing to have. Coming in here, absolutely abusing that first sausage, and it turns out beautifully. That's probably how you want to take the corner. The fellow behind me going a bit wide, giving me a bit of space to breathe. Um, but yeah, consistent laps, and look at this. People who are making mistakes around the second chicane have to serve their penalty. That's a couple free positions, baby. That's a big penalty. You can see he gets back on the gas right as I pass, and uh, unfortunately misses his breaking point and sends the car that passed him into the into the gravel there. Not the best video footage to, like, the best angles to show you guys, but I think you get the gist. Uh, two laps later, we have another little bluff charge. Not sure what that's about. Probably serving his penalty and decides I'll, I'll get into the middle. But a black car is approaching from the rear slowly, and he still has two laps to sort of really catch up, so... I'm not totally in the clear right now, but I've been hitting down some consistent laps. I'm feeling pretty good, so I was, it's enough space where I don't feel that much pressure. I don't have to defend. So I can basically just focus on being consistent, and I am I stand a good shot. If he makes any small mistakes, I'm going to pull away, even if I'm a half second slower on each lap. But uh, feeling pretty good. I mean, like, I look back on it. He's not abusing the corners like I am, and kind of need to. If you want to keep up on this track, it's absolutely necessary. A wild car appears from the dirt, and just a very obvious attempt to, like, get in the way. I found it very strange. I managed to squeeze around his left side. And then <laughs> he tries it again on the next guy. And, uh, he messed with the wrong guy. I mean... Some people just don't play games, man. <laughs> and that was one of them. You picked the wrong guy to try and take out. Unfortunately, it totally compromises his line around this big uh, corner here, which is, a uh, Important corner to get right, because there's a big straight right after it. So it's important to carry as much speed around that corner as possible and get on the gas as soon as possible to make the most out of the straightaway. Coming up to... Oh, sorry, skipping ahead a, like, a lap in a bit. That fellow was still on my tail. I messed up the corner again. And then there's Doomhammer, who might have had some kind of issue. I don't know if it was a penalty, or maybe he ran out of gas, or he's broken, and that's as fast as he can go. Like a t uh, steering joint column. <laughs> Not a mechanic. Uh... But yeah, what you didn't see there was the checkered flag come up and the screen fade to black as I barely crossed the line uh, as the race ended for the people who actually finished the race did it a long time ago and got sick of waiting. So, coming in about 7th place. Don't ask me how that works. Anyway guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and just have a great day. Be safe.